Okay, now that you know how to factor, um, we're going to kind of tie it all together. And the purpose of factoring um, is a quicker way to um, graph parabolas. Um, and so instead of using Desmos, because I don't want you to do that anymore, I'm going to show you um, how to graph parabolas. Um, this takes us step by step. So I would really highly recommend you printing this one out. Um, it's got some really good notes in it that you're probably going to want to use over and over and over again, but not too much because we're actually almost done with school this year. Um, but let's look at it. So, um, you already know a lot about quadratic functions, um, and I've made several connections between the different representations on the quadratic web. Today, you're going to develop a method to sketch a parabola from an equation without a table. Um, so... Uh, how many points do you need in order to sketch a parabola? 1, 10, 50? Think about that as you answer these questions below. No, a sketch doesn't have to be exact. The parabola merely needs to be reasonably placed with important points clearly located. Um, so can you scratch a sketch, not scratch, scratch a parabola. Can you sketch a parabola if you only know where its y-intercept is? For example, if the y-intercept of a parabola is 0, negative 15, can you sketch its graph? Why or why not? Well, so if over here, oops, I go to um, 0, negative 15, does that tell me enough about the parabola to be able to graph it? No, because you don't know um, where the vertex is. Like maybe it's way down here. Um, maybe it's over here. You don't know the vertex and you don't know how wide it has to be. So what about if you have two x-intercepts of the parabola? If you only know where the x-intercepts are, can you graph it? So like if I have negative 3, 0, and 5, 0, um, would I be able to graph a parabola? No, nope, because I don't know if it's like super duper wide, maybe it's super duper skinny, and the um, vertex is way down here. Um, I know I could find the line of symmetry because it'll be halfway between these two points. Um, so I know it would fall on this line, but I don't know if it's here or here. Can you scratch a wow? Can you sketch a parabola with only its x-intercepts and y-intercepts? To test this idea, sketch the graph of the parabola x squared minus 2x minus 15 with roots negative 3, 0, and 5, 0 in the y-intercept of 0, negative 15. Um, no, you can't still because if you have your two points and then you know 0, negative 15, we also know that the line of symmetry is here, but you don't know how far down it's going to go, um, so you really need to have the vertex. Um, where is the line of symmetry? Here's how I found that. You can find it a couple different ways. Looking at a graph, once you know your x-intercepts, I can't, my slop, I'm so sloppy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so there's eight spots over. So you know that it's going to be four over. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be right here on the x equals one line. Um, so you can find it that way. Line of symmetry would be halfway between your two x-intercepts. Or there's this formula you can use, x equals a negative b over 2a. And so when you look at a, an equation in standard form, your a would be the number that's here, your b is here, and your c is here. Your b is a negative 2. So a negative, negative 2 over 2 times, there was nothing there, so it would be a 1. Negative, negative 2 is a positive 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And so your line of symmetry would be 1. So you can either use the graph or this formula to find that that's it. Uh, tune in for video number 2 next.